that he may bring forth food from the earth and wine to gladden the heart of man, oil to make his face shine, and bread to strengthen man's heart. How glorious are thy works, O Lord! The trees of the Lord are watered abundantly, the cedars of Lebanon which he planted. In them the birds build their nests, the stork has her home in the fir tree. The high mountain comes of the wild goats, the rocks for a refuge for the badger. How glorious are thy works, O Lord! Thou hast made the moon to mark the seasons, the sun knows its time for setting. Thou makest darkness and it is night, when all the beasts of the forest creep forth. How glorious are thy works, O Lord! The young lions roar for their prey, seeking their food from God. When the sun rises, they get them away and lie down in their dens. Man goes forth to his work and to his labor until the evening. How glorious are thy works, O Never be shaken, thou didst cover 
that he may bring forth food from the earth and wine to gladden the heart of man, oil to make his face shine, and bread to strengthen man's heart. How glorious are thy works, O Lord! The trees of the Lord are watered abundantly, the cedars of Lebanon which he planted. In them the birds build their nests, the stork has her home in the fir trees. The high mountains are for the wild goats, the rocks are a refuge for the badger. How glorious are thy works, O Lord! Thou hast made the moon to mark the seasons, the sun knows its time for setting. Thou makest darkness and it is night, when all the beasts of the forest creep forth. How glorious are thy works, O Lord! The young lions roar for their prey, seeking their food from God. When the sun rises, they get them away and lie down in their dens. Man goes forth to his work and to his labor and to... Боже, очисти мене, грішно і помила мене. Боже, очисти мене, грішно і помила мене. Боже, очисти мене, грішно і помила мене. Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and unto the ages of age of. Amen. Glory to you, our God, glory to you. O heavenly King, comforter, the spirit of truth, ever our present and filling all things, treasure of blessings and giver of life, come and dwell in us and cleanse her of impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, cleanse us from our sins, master pardon our transgressions. O Holy One, visit us and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now, whenever, and unto the ages of age of... Amen. Lord, have mercy, 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 Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Oh, come, let us worship God, our King. Oh, come, let us worship and bow down before Christ, our King and our God. Oh, come, let us worship and bow down before Christ himself, our King and our God. Oh, come, let us worship and bow down before him. Bless the Lord, O my soul, O Lord my God, you have been greatly magnified. You are clothed in confession and majesty. You put on light as a garment, you stretch out the heavens like a curtain, and cover its lofts with water. You lay the clouds to stand on, you walk upon the wings of the wind. You make your angel spirits and your ministers a flame of fire. You establish the earth and its, assur and its assurance, it shall never be moved. The deep covers it like a garment, the waters will stand on the mountains. At your rebuke they will flee at the sound of your thunder, they will be afraid. Mountains rise and valleys sink to the place which you appointed for them. You set a boundary that neither shall cross. They will not return to cover the earth. You will make springs gush forth in the valleys, the waters will run between the mountains. They will give drink to all the beasts of the field, the wild asses will quench their thirst. The birds of the air have their habitation beside them, gushing forth from the rocks they give voice. They will water the mountains from your lofts. The earth will be satisfied by the fruit of your works. You cause grass to grow for the cattle and plants for the service of man to produce bread from the earth. And wine gladdens the heart of man to make his face cheerful with oil. And bread strengthens the heart of man. The trees of the plain will be satisfied, the cedars of Lebanon which you planted. There will the sparrows make their nest, the herons dwelling as chief among them. The high mountains are for the deer and the rock is a refuge for the hares. You made the moon for seasons, the sun knows its setting. You ordered darkness and became night. There and all the beasts of the forest creep forth. Young lions roaring after their prey and seeking the fruit from God. When the sun rises, they gather together and lie down in their dens. And man goes out to his work and labor until the evening. How magnified your works, O Lord, in wisdom you have made them all. The earth is replete with your creations. To see how great and spacious it is, there are all innumerable and creeping things, animals both small and great. There do ships traverse, there is the dragon you made to play therein. All look to you to give them their food in due season. When you, when you give to them, they will gather. When you open your hand, all things will be filled with goodness. When you turn your face away, they will be troubled. You will take away their spirit, and they will cease and return to their dust. You will send forth your spirit, and they will be created. You will renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord be forever. The Lord will rejoice in his works. He looks upon the earth and makes it tremble. He touches the mountains and they smoke. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will chant to my God for as long as I have being. May my discourse be pleasant to him. I shall rejoice in the Lord. Oh, that sinners would cease from the earth, that they should be no more. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, the sun knows its setting. You ordered darkness, and it became night. How magnified are your works, O Lord, you have made them all in wisdom. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. 
Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above, for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the good estate of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house, and for those who enter with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our bishop is grace, Elidion, for the honorable presbyter, for the diaconate, in Christ for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our God, loving and God protected country, Canada, its government, armed forces, and for all our pious people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this city and for every city, village, and country, and for the faithful who dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For a favorable weather and abundance of the fruits of the earth, for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For those who travel by sea, land, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the imprisoned, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, from our danger and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance our most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us command ourselves and one another, and all our life unto Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For to you are due all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and ever unto the ages of age. Of. Amen. Blessed is the man that has not walked in the counsel of the ungodly. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, and the way of the ungodly will perish. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Serve the Lord with fear, and rejoice in him with trembling. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. Blessed are all that put their trust in him. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Salvation is from the Lord, and your blessings upon your people. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Both now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Glory to you, O Simia siete pomnenuši sami sebe jeden od noho, sečete naš hresu Bohovi vidomo. Obi, Hospodi, po Tvoje vlada je Tvoje sara, svoj sile i slavo, Otja i Sena i Svjetoho Duha, neni posjak čas i na vike viki. Amin. Lord, I have cried unto you, hear me. 
Hear me, O Lord, Lord, I have cried unto you, hear me. Attend to the voice of my supplication. When I cry unto you, hear me, O Lord. Let my prayer be set forth as incense before you, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Hear me, O Lord. Set a watch, O Lord, before my mouth, and a door of enclosure about my lips. Incline not my heart to evil words to make excuses in sin, and those who work iniquity I will not associate with the choicest of them. Let the righteous man chasten me with mercy and reprove me. As for the oil of the sinner, let it not anoint my head. For even my prayer is against their good pleasure. Their judges have been swallowed up by the rock. They shall hear my words, for they are sweet. As a clod of earth is broken on the ground, so their bones are scattered by the side of Hades. For to you, O Lord, are my eyes. I have hoped in you. Take not away my soul. Keep me from the snare which they have laid for me, from the stumbling blocks of those who work iniquity. The sinners fall into their own net. I am apart from them until I pass by. With my voice, the Lord, I have cried. With my voice, the Lord, I have made my supplication. I shall pour out before him my supplication. My affliction from before him shall I declare. As my spirit was departing from within me, you knew my paths. On this way which I was walking, they hid a snare for me. I looked to my right and beheld, and there was no one who knew me. There is no escape for me, and no one who cares for my soul. I cried out to you, O Lord, and I said, You are my hope. You are my portion in the land of the living. Attend to my supplication, for I have been greatly humbled. Deliver me from those who persecute me, for they have become stronger than I. Bring my soul out of prison that I may praise your name. Mm -hmm. As we worship without ceasing, your life-giving cross, O Christ God, we glorify your resurrection on the third day. For through it, O all-powerful, you renewed the corrupted human nature and showed us the way to heaven, as you alone are good and love mankind. The righteous shall wait for me until you recompense me. By being willingly nailed on the tree of the cross, O Savior, you abolish the penalty of the tree of disobedience, and by descending into Hades, O all-powerful one, you tore apart the bonds of death as God. Therefore we worship you in the resurrection from the dead. We cry out to you with joy, all-powerful Lord, glory to you. Out of the depths I have cried to you, O Lord, O Lord, hear my voice. You smash the gates of Hades, Lord, and by your death you destroyed the palace of death, while you freed humanity from corruption, granting life to the world and incorruption, and your great mercy. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my supplication. Come, you people, let us in the Savior's rising on the third day, through which we were redeemed from unbreakable bonds of Hades, and received incorruption as life, and we cry. You who were crucified and buried and rose again, save us by your resurrection, O only lover of mankind. If you should mark iniquity, O Lord, O Lord, who will stand, for with you there is forgiveness. Angels and mortals, hear me arising on the third day, O Savior, 
through which the ends of the inhabited earth were filled with light. And we were all redeemed from the slavery of the foe as we cry. O life-giving, all-powerful Savior, save us by your resurrection, our only lover of man. Because of your name I have waited for you, O Lord. My soul has waited for your word. My soul has hoped in the Lord. You shattered the gates of brass and smashed their bars. Christ God, you who praise the fallen human race. Therefore with one voice we cry, Lord risen from the dead, glory to you. From the morning watch until night, from the morning watch let Israel hope in the Lord. The Lord my creator took me as dust from the earth. With the breath of life he gave me a soul and made me a living creature. He honored me as a ruler on earth and all things visible as companion of the angels. But Satan the deceiver using the serpent as his instrument encircled me by food and separated me from the glory of God and gave me over to the earth and at the lowest depths of death. But his master and compassionate one call me back again. For with the Lord there is mercy, and with him there is abundant redemption. He will redeem Israel out of all his iniquities. Wretch that I am, I have cast off the robe woven by God. Disobeyed your divine command, Lord, at the counsel of the enemy. I am clothed now in fig leaves and garments of skin. I am condemned to eat the bread of toil and the sweat of my brow. The earth has been cursed so that it bears thorns and thistles for me. But, Lord, who at the times were made flesh of a virgin, call me back into paradise again. Praise the Lord, all nations. Praise him, a whole people. O precious paradise, unsurpassed beauty, tabernacle built by God, unending gladness and delight, the glory of the just, joy of the prophets and dwelling place of the saints. With the sound of your leaves implore the Maker of all to open for me the gates which are closed by my transgression and may count me worthy to partake in the tree of life and the joy in which delighted when I dwelt in you before. For his mercy has prevailed over me, and the truth of the Lord abides forever. Adam was banished from paradise through disobedience, and cast out with delight he beguiled the words of a woman. Naked he sat opposite the place, lamenting, Woe is me! Therefore I let all make haste to accept the season of the fast and obey the traditions of the gospel, and through them we may become well-pleasing to Christ and once before receive the paradise of our dwelling. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Adam sat opposite paradise, and lamenting in his nakedness, he wept, Woe is me! By evil deceit I was persuaded and robbed and exiled from glory. Woe is me! Once naked in my simplicity, now I am in want. But paradise no longer shall I enjoy your delight. No more shall I look upon the Lord my God and Maker. For I shall return to the earth whence I was taken. Merciful and compassionate, Lord, I cry to you. Have mercy on me who am fallen. Both now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Mm -hmm. The prophet David, who the ancestor of God, spoke of you in song beforehand. Him who has done great things for you, the Queen stood at your right hand. For he, the God who is well pleased with our Father, the to evening, become morning, man for you, 
Declare to be Mother master, and Source of Life, of all, Lord, that he might through fashion his own image corrupted by passions, having found the lost sheep wandering on the mountain, and laid it on his shoulders, he might bring it to his Father, and by his will unite the heavenly powers to save the world. For unto oh, you are Mother, all glory, honor, worship of God, of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Christ, who has great and rich mercy. Blessed is the entrance of your saints, always, now, and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Remudris dein mo popoj, no wisdom, let us stand aright. O gladsome light of the holy glory of the immortal Father, Heavenly, holy, blessed, O Jesus Christ, now that we have come to the setting of the sun and behold the light of the evening, we praise God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. For me it is at all times to worship Thee with voices of praise, O Son of God and Giver of life. Therefore all the world doth glorify Thee. Buit mo vajni mirusim, wisdom the prokimen in the sixth tone. The Lord is king, he has clothed himself with majesty. The Lord is king, he has clothed himself with majesty. Zodiac nusia hospod, uselu opoviausia. Hospod, vocia rivsia, i veličnist, zodiac nusia. For he has established the universe which shall not be shaken. The Lord. He is king, he has clothed himself with majesty. Domo vitvoyamu na legis, yatis hospod na dohide. O hospod vocia rivsia, i velichni zodia nuvsia. Hospod vocia rivsia, i velichni zodia nuvsia. Let us all say with our whole soul, with our whole mind, let us say, Lord have mercy. O Lord Almighty God of our fathers, we pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great loving kindness, we pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for his grace, our Bishop Aletion, for all br our brethren in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our God-loving and God-protected country, Canada, its government, armed forces, and for all our pious people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray to the Lord our God to hear the voice of the prayer of us sinners and protect us, our God-loving ancestral homeland Ukraine and all her pious, pious people during this time of severe trials and have mercy upon your servants, the defenders of the Ukrainian state and her citizens. Preserve them from fatal wounds and any spiritual or physical infirmity. Protect them from all sorrow, evil, wrath and necessity 
and grant them healthy and joyous returns in all merciful Lord hear us and have mercy Lord have mercy Lord have mercy Lord have mercy again we pray for our blessed and ever memorable Orthodox patriarchs for the founders of this holy temple and for all Orthodox Christians they part of this life before us who hear on everywhere lie asleep in the Lord. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, God's visitation, the forgiveness, remission of sins for the servants of God, the parishioners of this holy temple. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for those who bring offerings and do good works in this holy, all venerable temple, for those who labor and those who sing, and for all the people here present to await your great and abundant mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For you are a merciful God and lover of mankind, and to we send up glory to the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever unto the ages of age. Amen. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this night without sin. Bless you, O Lord God of our fathers, and praising glorified is your name forever. Amen. Let your mercy be upon us, O Lord, even as we have set our hope on you. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Blessed are you, O Master, make me to understand your commandments. Blessed are you, O Lord, who enlighten me with your precepts. Your mercy, O Lord, endures forever, O despise not the works of my hands. O to you belongs worship, to you belongs praise, to you belongs glory. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Do povni mo mo vechu mo let u nasu hospodavi. Hospodi po mi ilu. Zastu pis pa se po mi hornas po tvoje ju blahodatiu. Hospodi po mi ilu. Vechu rosios vershios ja tos po kinas pes rishno hospoda prosimo. Vodai hospodi. Angela meru meru vednho provena ka oh oh horneta ja tuši telena. O Hospoda prosimo, Odai Hospodi, Proši ne vi pušnja rikita provena naši, Hospoda prosimo, Odai Hospodi, Dobro i počet oče da duše naši, ta mera da svijetu, O Hospoda prosimo, Odai Hospodi, Šo prežiše ta naša mera ta pokine skenčele me, O Hospoda prosimo, Odai Hospodi, Kristijanskoho kintja žeta našoho bezbolez obezno hadnoho mjerno i dobrovit vid povid nas rasumu sude Hristovim prosimo Podaj hospodi Pristje tu ju pričesu problasovanu sovnju vladeću našu bohorodusu prezodivu Mariju Zosim će te pomnanuše sami sebe jedan odnoho Sačiš da naš Hresu Bohovi vidamo. Obi, Hospodi. O ti, blahe čoleviko, ljubez boje, sveto bi slavu, vosalajmo oci u isenu, i svetomu duhovi, neni posjak čas, i na vike vike. Amin. Mir u sim pis bi antu o. I duhovi tvojamo. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord. To you, O Lord. O Lord our God, you bowed the heavens and you came down for the salvation of the human race. Look upon your servants and your inheritance. For to you, the awesome judge who loves mankind, have your servants bowed their heads and bent their necks, awaiting not help from men, but entreating your mercy and looking confidently for your salvation. Guard them at all times, both during the present evening and the approaching night, from every enemy, from all adverse powers of the devil, from vain thoughts and evil imaginings. 
May the majesty of your kingdom be blessed and glorified of the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, by ascending the cross, you wiped out our ancestral curse. By descending into Hades, you freed those enchained from every age, granting incorruption to the human race. Therefore, with hymns we glorify your life-giving and saving rising. The Lord is King, he has clothed himself with majesty. Hang on, tree, O mighty one, you shook creation. Laid in a tomb, you raised those who dwelt in tombs, granting the human race incorruption in life. Therefore, with hymns we glorify, rising on the third day. For he has established the universe, which shall not be shaken. O lawless people, O Christ, delivered you to Pilate and condemned you to be crucified, showing themselves and feeling to their benefactor. But by your will you endured burial, rose on the third day by your own power, as God granting us unending life and with your great mercy. Holiness befits your house, O Lord, for length of days. Reaching to you in grave tears, the women looked for you. When they did not find you, they cried aloud with grief and lamentation. Alas, our Savior, King of all, how were you stolen? What sort of people hold your life-bearing body? An angel answered them and said, Do not weep, but go proclaim to the Lord his risen, granting us joy, as he is our Lord and compassionate. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Through eat, though eating, Adam was cast out of paradise, and so as he sat in front of it, he wept, lamenting with a pitiful voice and saying, Woe is me, what have I suffered, wretch that I am? I transgressed one commandment of the Master, and I am deprived of every good thing. Most holy paradise planted before me and shut and, sh and shut because of Eve. I pray to him who made you and fashioned me, that once more I filled with your flowers. And the Savior said to him, I do not wish to be a creature which was fashioned when perish, but be saved and come to the knowledge of truth, because one who comes to me I will not cast him out, both now and ever into the ages of ages. Christ the Lord, Maker and my Redeemer, come before your womb, O all pure virgin, having clothed himself in me. He freed Adam from the curse of old. Therefore, with never silent voices, we cry out to you as Mother of God and Virgin, with the angel salutation, hail sovereign lady, garden and protector, and salvation of our souls. Now let your servants depart in peace, O Master, according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation which you have prepared before the face of all people, a light of revelation for the Gentiles, and the glory of your people, Israel. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. O Holy One, visit us and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. When the women disciples of the Lord learned from the angel that joyous message of your resurrection, they cast away the ancestral curse, and with gladness told the apostles death is overthrown. Christ God is risen, granting the world great mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. The mystery hidden from all angels and unknown to the angels was made manifest to those on earth through you, O Theotokos. God took flesh in union without confusion, and for our sake willingly accepted the cross. Thereby he raised the first created, saving our souls from death. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O Lord, our God, great and almighty, we, your sinful children, turn to you with humility in our hearts and bow our heads low before you. We beseech your loving kindness and abundant blessings upon the nation, the people of Ukraine, during these days of great danger to their safety and well-being. Our brothers and sisters, Lord, are once again threatened by aggression who see them only as simple obstacles blocking the path to the complete domination of the precious land and resources of the country of Ukraine. Strengthen the people as they face this great danger, turning to you in the immeasurable deep faith, trust, and love they have placed in you all their lives. Send your heavenly legions, O Lord, commanded by the patron, of Kiev, Archangel Michael, to crush the desires of the aggressor, whose desire is to eradicate your people, and grant unity of men, heart, and soul. O Lord, to all leaders in public service with those they serve, unite them all into one great Christian family, so that together, as brothers and sisters, they may glorify your majestic name. God in the Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Wisdom. Give the blessing. Blessed is the one who is Christ your God, always, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Make firm, O God, the holy Orthodox faith and all Orthodox Christians unto the ages of ages. Most holy Theotokos, save us. More honorable than the chair you bid, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without corruption you gave birth to God the Word, to Theotokos, we magnify you. Glory to you, Christ our God, our hope. Glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Father, bless. May Christ, your true God, who rose from the dead, have mercy on us and save us through the intercessions of his most pure Mother, of the holy glories and all praise apostles, 
of the Venerable Timothy and St. Eustace, Archbishop of Antioch and of all the holy ancestors, of the holy ancestors, God, you'll come in on and of all the saints, for as much as he is good and the lover of mankind. Amen. Our bishop, his grace, Hilarion, bishop of Edmonton, the Western Echarchy, locum tenants of metropolitan throne, the parishioners of this holy temple, and all Orthodox Christians, protect, O Lord, for many years. Slava Jesus Christu. Slava Nevi. Glory be to Jesus Christ. Glory forever. The Venerable Timothy. Timothy was a recluse in a place called Symbola on the ecstatic side of Mount Olympus. In his youth, Timothy entered a monastery and was tonsured a monk. Until old age, he spent his earthly life in fasting, prayer, vigils, and ceaseless labor. He remained pure and chaste throughout his entire life. To the pure and chaste, God gives authority over evil spirits, and he gave this to Timothy. Through his labors for the salvation of his soul, St. Timothy succeeded in building within himself a wondrous abode of the Holy Spirit. This holy man reposed in the year 795. Very simple account of, of his life. Sometimes the, the long, drawn-out accounts of a saint's life, not that they're, they're wasteful, but they often cause us to draw our minds in various directions of the life of that saint. In this, this case with the Venerable Timothy, we hear very, very simply how he, in his earthly life, focused on fasting, prayer, vigils, and ceaseless labor. As we look ahead to tomorrow evening, this time tomorrow, we will be entering into the great and holy fast through the Vesper service of forgiveness through the act of mutual forgiveness. This is how we begin, God willing to begin to emulate that which, which Christ wants us, but also which the Holy Venerable Timothy acted and showed in his life. The fasting, the prayer, the constant vigil, these are three things that we constantly are drawn to be doing during the Great and Holy Fast. There's more services. We're encouraged to enhance, to, to go deeper into our, our personal prayer in our home. And of course, fast. Whether that be from an action, an event, a task that we, we maybe do that's not necessary for the, the period of the fast. Or, or following through with the elimination of, of meat, of dairy, of alcohol, of various things that we intake that our Heavenly Father or of the fathers of the church have guided us to fast from. Let us draw on the prayers of the Venerable Timothy to give us strength to do these tasks so that we don't become like the goats that we heard in last week's gospel of meat for the Sunday of Last Judgment who didn't do the things that we as Christians are called to do and were cast out, removed from the glory of God because of our own choices and actions not because of those of others. Let us find these, the strength in the prayers that we pray tomorrow in the Divine Liturgy and that Vesper service as we prepare to enter the great and holy fast. Christ is in our midst. He is and always shall be.